Ciao a tutti and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're gonna talk about the jobs and you're gonna learn some basic Italian vocabulary about work. Pronti? Cominciamo! Ready? Let's go! Let's begin with some of the most common jobs and then we'll see some examples. I split them into categories and the first one is health. Here we have dottore or dottoressa for doctors, infermiere or infermiera for a nurse, farmacista is a pharmacist and dentista is a dentist. Dottore, dottoressa, infermiere, infermiera, farmacista, dentista. Then we have this job to guarantee people's security, such as the police, poliziotto o poliziotta, the firefighter, vigile del fuoco, and the soldier, militare. Moving on, people in these professions usually provide a service and you can use these words for both men and women. Avvocato, lawyer, contabile, accountant, architetto, architect, ingegnere, engineer, meccanico, mechanic, and idraulico, plumber. Avvocato, contabile, architetto, ingegnere, meccanico, idraulico. The next group is fashion and beauty. Here we have stilista, fashion designer, modello o modella, models, parrucchiere o parrucchiera, hairdresser, and estetista, beautician. Stilista, modello, modella, parrucchiere, parrucchiera, estetista. These are instead the people that generally work on TV or shows. Attore, actor, attrice, actress, musicista, musician, cantante, singer, ballerino o ballerina, danza. Attore, attrice, musicista, cantante, ballerino, ballerina. The following category is for food and drinks. Cuoco o cuoca is a chef, cameriere is a waiter and cameriera is a waitress, barista is a barman or a barmaid and panettiere o panettiera is a baker. Cuoco, cuoca, cameriere, cameriera, barista, panettiere, panettiera. Let's continue with the jobs where you have to drive, such as autista, autista, who is a generic term for a driver, but usually refer to a bus driver. Tassista, tassista, is a taxi driver. Camionista, camionista, is a truck driver. And pilota, pilota, is how we usually call an airplane pilot. These occupations are in education. We have three ways to call a teacher. Insegnante is a generic term to refer to whoever teaches a discipline, not necessarily in school. Then maestro or maestra is normally a teacher in primary school, while professore and professoressa work in high school or at the university. Finally, studente or studentessa are the students. Insegnante, maestro, Maestra, professore, professoressa, studente, studentessa. Then, artista is an artist in Italian, but it doesn't refer to any specific art. So to be more precise, you need to use some of the following. Pittore, pittrice, is a painter. Scrittore, scrittrice, is a writer or an author. And fotografo, fotografa is a photographer. Artista, pittore, pittrice, scrittore, scrittrice, fotografo, fotografa. Lastly, these are some jobs in sport. Atleta is an athlete and is for everyone that practices a sport. But then if you want to be more specific, there is a word for each sport. For example, calciatore, calciatrice, is a football player and Tennista, 
is a tennis player. Allenatore o allenatrice instead is the coach. Atleta, calciatore, calciatrice, tennista, allenatore, allenatrice. Ok, let's move on to the second part of this lesson where I'll show you some basic words about work. The first one, lavoro, means a job. Lavoro. To ask someone what they do for a living, you can use this question. Che lavoro fai? Che lavoro fai? And you can reply in two ways. Using the verb fare plus the definite article before your job or the verb essere plus the indefinite article and your job. You'll find the links to the lesson where I explain these verbs and the articles in Italian in the description down below. But now let's see a few examples. On the left, I'm using the verb fare in the first person singular, that is faccio, followed by the article and the job. Faccio il cuoco. Faccio la scrittrice. Faccio l'attore. Faccio l'estetista. On the right, instead, I'm using the second option with the verb essere that becomes sono when I speak about myself. Sono uno studente. Sono una ballerina. Sono un insegnante. Sono un insegnante. Now, before we move on, take a few seconds to tell me in the comments below what you do for a living. If I've missed your job, just let me know and I'll tell you how to say it in Italian. The next one is something everyone is looking forward to. Ferie. Ferie. Means a holiday. Here you can see three very popular expressions with this word. Andare in ferie. Means to go on holiday. Essere in ferie. Is for when you are actually on holiday. And chiuso per ferie. Means that that place, like a shop or restaurant, is temporarily closed for the holiday. Let's see a couple of examples. Vanno sempre in ferie ad agosto. They always go on holiday in August. Oggi sono in ferie. Today I'm on holiday. Il bar è chiuso per ferie. The coffee shop is closed for the holiday. Next word is used to refer to someone's manager. Il capo, il capo, if he's a man, or la capo, la capo, if she's a woman. For instance, il mio capo lavora sempre. My manager is always working. La mia capo è molto esigente. My manager is very demanding. Then to refer a coworker, instead you need to use the word collega, collega. Note that the plural form is different depending if you are talking about men or women. So you must say colleghi if they are all men or colleghe in case your colleagues are all women. Here you can see a couple of examples. Aiuta spesso il suo collega. He often helps his colleague. I tuoi colleghi sono simpatici. Your colleagues are nice. Sto aspettando la mia collega. I'm waiting for my colleague. Sara e Luisa sono colleghe. Means that Sara e Luisa work together. Word number seven means meeting. Riunione. Riunione. For instance. Ho una riunione alle 10. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. Hanno una riunione con il capo. They have a meeting with their manager. And the final word is something at the basis of every job and it's the salary. Stipendio. Stipendio. For example. Prende lo stipendio tutti i lunedì. He gets paid every Monday. Prendono uno stipendio alto. They have a high salary. And this is all for today. You can also watch my other videos on Italian vocabulary. And don't forget to subscribe if you like my content. Thanks so much for watching. Grazie mille. I'll see you next week. A presto. Ciao.